Commit yourself to personal and professional mastery. The purpose of training is to tighten up the slack, toughen the body, and polish the spirit. People expect you to know what the hell you're doing. They expect you to be good at what you do. Practice mastery in your domain. At the same time, acknowledge the truth that you can't possibly do everything yourself. As you improve yourself, understand the skills and talents of others around you. That's how you realize the full potential of your community or organization. The most effective leaders are fully committed to personal and professional mastery. They're also dedicated to providing opportunities for others to grow and develop so that they can develop mastery too. A while ago, I was soaking in the tub watching Dan Pink's TED Talk on the puzzle of motivation. Yeah, that's how I spend my tub time, YouTube University. Anyway, Mr. Pink was talking about three major factors that motivate us. Autonomy, mastery, and purpose. I think Dan Pink nailed it squarely on the head. The only thing I'll add from my experience is that of the three, mastery is the most important. That's what the Black Belt experience is all about. Mastery gives you control of your individual talents and abilities. It's the key to your self-empowerment. Mastery is what earns you greater autonomy. Mastery is, in itself, a meaningful purpose. It is a purpose in itself. Mastery is also the foundation of confidence. You want to feel as if you can accomplish what you set out to do, right? That confidence comes mostly from training and preparation. It comes from mastering the talents, abilities, and skills you need to accomplish the task at hand and to accomplish all your long-term goals. Mastery, like perfection, is not a destination. It's a process. It's the continual process of learning, training, and mindful practice. Now, before you can lead others in the pursuit of mastery, you've got to master yourself. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. If you want others to trust your leadership, respect your authority, and become partners in your vision, live as an example of authentic self-mastery. More than any other quality of leadership, self-mastery is the one over which you have the most control. You can't always control circumstances and conditions. You certainly can't always control people, and you can't always control how people are going to react to your decisions as a leader. But you can always learn and grow. You can always perfect your talents, skills, and abilities as a person and as a leader. Your commitment and willingness to improve becomes a powerful force that inspires others. And that's why you're a leader.